If you read in Hebrews chapter 11 verses 8, it says, By faith Abraham, when called to go to a place, he would later receive as his inheritance, obeyed and went, even though he did not know where he was going. Obeyed. That's the whole thing right there. Abraham obeyed. When God told him to move, he moved. He obeyed. You know, obedience is such an important part in our walk with God. We hear God's voice. That is his word. Primarily, we hear God's voice is through his word. When we read the word, when we hear the word, when God speaks to us, we need to do what he tells us to do. Because if the relationship between us and God is only one-sided, that we always tell God, give me this, give me that, please do this for me. And we don't do what God tells us to do, then that's not a healthy relationship because then God becomes our Santa Claus. We need to obey God when he tells us to do something. Now, obedience is not only important, but it is also painful. It hurts us. It costs us sometimes. You know, when God tells us to be kind to someone who has ill-treated us, who has abused us, what happens? We try to reason. We say that that person does not deserve it. But when God tells us, we need to do. And here is the same situation in the life of Abraham. God is telling Abraham to go to a place. And it says, even though he did not know where he was going, that means he had no clue or no idea where he was supposed to go. You know, when we migrate from one country to another, what do we do? We find out if someone is there in that country to help us. And then we go to that country. First the husband goes and then he takes his wife and children. But in the case of Abraham, that was not. He did not have anyone in that country. Firstly, he did not know which place he was supposed to go. He did not have any contact in that country. And thirdly, he did not go alone. He had to take his wife. So in such a situation, Abraham obeys God. He obeyed and went. Now we may be wondering, how did Abraham do that? The first two words of the scripture tells us, by faith, Abraham believed God's voice. He believed God's word. If God said, that settles it. He does not reason. He does not question God. He says, God told me I'm going to do it. And because he obeyed, we see the amazing blessings in the life of Abraham. You know, I want to ask all the viewers, God is speaking to you. When you read the word, when you hear the word, God speaks to you. My question today is, are you obeying God? Because when you obey God, you will see the breakthrough. You will see the blessings of God. Amen. God bless you.